Well, hello there, everybody. My name's Favixfer. Welcome to Europa Universalis. I figured I wanted to play this since we got the Cossacks DLC come out. And I'd get a little empire started and I'd start to develop my, my own little country. Now, I'm just going to do normal difficulty, normal AI. I'm going to do fantasy random new world, so frequent like cool elements. And I, I'm not really going to use any of that. So, here we go. Random new world. Yeah, it'd be better if I went Muscovy. It's a country right now. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to do um, Iron Man mode, so everyone knows that I'm not cheating. But, otherwise, it's not really Iron Man mode. So, here we go. Uh, recording. There we go. Start Iron Man mode. Now the goal is going to be that we create the biggest country on the face of the earth. Now there's a bunch of features. Oh yeah, I'm also using um develop. Uh, it's a mod called development something development mod. Um, okay, yeah, 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 just close that down. I don't care about that. Um. It, what it does is it's dynamized development is what it's called. Um, and it, it's a pretty cool mod. It, it adds more to the development of the country so it happens more over time instead of just... You have to spend crap tons of points on it. Okay, there we go. Gotta get everything together. Let's see, we're making a decent amount of money. Novgorod. Let's see, Denmark, Golden Horde. Now, right from the bat, we're gonna want... Can we get their influence up? No, we own the core provinces, but even if we remove that, we're not really high enough to get it. What about you? Oh, you're even further off. We can, uh, we can get a royal marriage with you. Royal marriage with you. And we're going to wreck you, mate. I'm going to steal all your important provinces. Here we go. And all of you push for the attack. Time of infantry reason. Good. Uh, that'll do. Okay, here we go. Now, there's more rebellions in this. Oh, yeah, the other one I'm using is spreading culture. Just because I found that normal culture just gets really annoying. Oh, that's too fast. Poland forms... Okay, so Poland has uh, Lithuania in a personal union. Which isn't good. It's not necessarily bad. Okay. You split up. Head over this way. Er. Let's go around. We'll trap them in. There we go. It's all looking pretty good right now. Ooh. Let's get you in there. Uh, none of you. Let's just pop you in just for some extra taxes. How are the estates doing? Okay, we don't have... A, uh, a trading estate anymore. There seems their influence was too too low. Dude, expand Cossacks Registrar. Why not? We'll make the Cossacks more well known. Uh, we'll do that as well. Increase the clergy. And then you guys 
I don't know how I necessarily feel about you guys gaining power, so I'll just leave it be. I don't know how Piskov got into that province. All oh, this Christmas music. I have no, I'm not, I didn't actively choose the music. Game options. Apparently that sh shut it off. How do I, how do I turn it back on? There we go. There we go, get, get some actual war music instead of the Christmas music that was just throwing off the vibe. Now I know if Garad's a little crap country and they're gonna try to do everything in their power to spite me. But they will find that I will not surrender to them. And that the Russian people will be strong. We will overpower them. Those moose will fight them to the last moose. Look at that. Oh, they're they're making their way. They're trying to re-siege everything. That's okay, our vassals are sieging everything we need. We're actually not doing half bad. Our rivals, Denmark. So we're gonna have to issue embargo. Now, let's get into them. I guess we won't be able to. Let's see. Any modifiers? No, just the typical ones. Our religion's the same as usual. Okay then, so we're gonna have to wait till we siege Neva, and then we can push for the rest of... Oh, here we go. Here comes the battle. Cause it's the final battle. ba da 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 Let me tell my vassals. Join those sieges. Join it! Let's get this! Let's get this party started. Boom! 18k men! Look at that battle! Oh, they got no one left. Oh, we, we took him out. No mercy. Finish him. Boom! Now, send you guys out for a siege. And there we go. Took that one. I would love it if you guys would just start taking these other provinces. Like uh, Perm, if you could take this one. And this one. And then if Yaroslav would go up there to that one, that'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Okay. We're losing a bit of money. But I mean, it's what we would expect. Army is marvelously winning the day. Or marvelously winning the day. We can't get an alliance. Well, we might be able to. That would actually be something good for us, since we're not going to want to fight them. So let's get a royal marriage with them. Since they're so supportive of us right now, at least. Uh, Golden Horde's taking over Ryzen. It was faster than I thought it would be, but it doesn't bother me. We'll have to take over the western side of Novgorod, so Sweden can't take over it. Let's see. Let's support our heir. 
This is our other rival, by the way. Denmark and Golden Horde. Okay, yeah, show an embargo to them as well. There we go. Uh, let's focus on taxes. That was the development mod. It like slowly develops everything out. So what problems? Reserve was the one that got developed. And I mean, it could be pretty handy. Because it's like a... A temporary cheap, cheap development sort of thing. Goes a bit faster. Isn't as costly. Oh my god, did Ryzen... How did Ryzen push back the Golden Horde? I mean, that's that's pretty damn impressive. But they probably won't last too much longer. No, no, no. They are uh, they're just about to be finished. Can I go to help Ryzen? I would send an alliance, but they don't seem to be interested. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a peace offering going on. No, that's nice. Let's see, we could just take the whole side over here. Okay, well, this is all we could have taken. We're going to need to core all this up. Um, let's wait till war exhaustion goes down a little bit. Novgorod, though, has to go. But the rest of it's going to take a bit. Okay, sending the army back down south. Novgorod's no longer a valid rival. What, the clergy? The clergy wants some land? Me and my estates map mode. Yeah, I give you... I give you Vladimir! You have Vladimir, you'd be very happy. It'd be very nice. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. What are my vassals? I can get them to embargo rifles. Which country is this? Perm. Which province do they want? Argakalox? Ar... Arga... Oh. They want the one up in uh, Novgorod. Yeah, you'll have to wait a bit for that one. Oh, we got at least 50 power projection. That's nice. Our rebels are going to be super excited to see us. No, we don't want to rival Poland. Hey, Poland, be my ally. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got we got Poland on our side now, who has Lithuania in a personal union. So, this is like our big, big ally. Okay, how much support does our claim on their throne have? Or no, it's not claim on their throne, but it's like our guy we're supporting. Oh, he's not doing well at all. Oh, wait. I have a personal union with Tavera? Dang. That just came out of the blue. You got Neva. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. And desert you. Forgot to do that. Awesome. We got Neva in a personal union. Well, they're gonna be... They're going to be stuck with us for quite a while. I can guarantee it. They don't like me, obviously, because I have a core and aggressive expansion. Which is pretty typical for all these countries over here. Poland is finally starting to like, like me a little bit. Ryzen's a vassal of... Uh, the Golden Horde, of course. Whoa. 
How are they going to stop 33,000 rebels? Speaking of which, when they come, how am I going to stop the rebels? See, Peasants' War, I have no way of reaching. Civil War, not really a way of reaching. I haven't done that badly. So, I'm pretty much just screwed to sit here, aren't I? Oh, wait. I could ask the clergy for power points. Yeah, okay. And then I can core Ingermanland? I don't know, it'll lower overextension. Which will significantly lower unrest. Which should be good. It'll make everyone happy. That's the best part of EU4, it's the waiting game. That time where you sit around and you just think, boy. I wish I could do something. Now, I bet Novgorod it still does not have any allies. Wow. Uh, let them handle it. The Cossacks are wanton all okay so I could raise a Cossacks host if I gave the Cossacks more power which I don't I don't think I want to do that I think that would be a poor decision on my part if I just gave the Cossacks more power I mean, heck, they barely exist now. If I gave them more power, that, that's just power they didn't have before. Which, this is the only province I can really give to the Cossacks at the moment. So whenever I start taking Kazan, I'll be able to give provinces to the Cossacks. And what the Cossacks seem to be mostly for... Ooh. Um... Focus on taxes. I know I'm Russia, but taxes are important. Especially since it increases force limit. Now let's see, uh, Cossacks are all about the cavalry and then the boost to cavalry, combat ability and such. But their uh, raised Cossack host will give me a bunch of units if I ever use it. Yeah, I sent some supplies for the Cossacks. The Cossacks? Or the Cossacks? I'll make a generous donation. Let's see. I'll grant them monopolies. Now let's see. If their thing increases, development costs go down. De okay. Um, I don't really need any of that. Can't really do anything at the moment. Let's see. I could call a diet, but that would increase their influence as well. God, no matter what I do, they're just going to lose loyalty. What can I do to increase their loyalty? Oh. See, loyalty is increased by high legitimacy. Okay, so these guys. Cossacks like what I did. So good. Oh. Just sit. Oh, you're out of Poland. Request that you come today in the Polish conquest against Teutonic Order. Is Sweden a free country? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna join. Uh, just keep one diplomat there in Poland. It'll it'll increase the chance of us getting a guy. Where's our other diplomat? Oh, I see. The problem is. Okay. You get out of Poland, stop improving relations. 
Now, we're gonna take an opportunity here, and we're gonna march our army into the Livonian Order. And we're gonna take some land. I mean, you don't miss out on opportunity like this for any reason, right? When life gives you lemons, you make Livonian Order lemonade. It's just what you do. I mean, with Lithuania on my side, how could I lose? This is the perfect war to just try to take something. Oh god, my vassal. Don't do it, man. Don't be a hero. <laughs> you'll, you'll want to try to be a hero, man. I tried to warn you. Can I get Riga? Nah. I bet I can get a claim on him, though. No? No claims? What a stingy piece of crap. Okay. Gonna have to keep core in these provinces. Look at that. We're just sieging through all this. Poland is fighting the war for me, basically. I mean, I'm not gonna risk losing some troops just so that they can fight this for me. Whoa! Golden Horde is losing to Kazan, Crimea, and Nogai. God, the big three all just decided Golden Horde had their time, and it was time to end it. Now hopefully, Poland just lets this war kind of slip beyond its grasp, and I could start requesting some provinces. I can't force religion, and I can't force a vassal. Ooh, I want Danzig though, because if I get Danzig, I can westernize and western focus and become western, because I need to have 300 total development, 1 stability, 10 costs, and I need to have either Danzig or Krakow. Wait, Krakow? What the hell is Krakow? Isn't that in Poland? Yeah, that's in Poland. That's not achievable. Here we go. Get ready to die. Boom. Okay. We currently don't have really much of a navy. Or really a need for one. I mean... I guess we could build a navy. Here we go. Yeah, I'll embrace the reputation, why not? I'd rather do that than take a stability hit. Who cares about reputation? Am I right? I'm right. Now, if we could take parts of Sweden over, that'd be nice too, because I do want the Finland region. What are the odds of our rebels popping up? Oh, it's almost like not at all. You guys go crawl back in your holes and go find something better to do than try to start revolts in my lands. I ain't having none of that. Look at this. Speed this war up. It's going a little bit too slow. I mean, we're definitely winning it. We're nowhere near losing. Beer freaking loves us. Poland loves us. Oh, I have to conquer the rest of Novgorod, don't I? That's okay. We'll get there. Uh, maintain. In a core province. Now, we're not going to be able to siege their, uh, their island there unless we somehow sneak past their navy. Good job, va vassals. You snuck the... Aw, oh, they pieced out with Livonian Order. Well, now I don't even want to be a part of this war. I'm going home. 
Screw you, Poland. I'm going home. I wanted land. Teutonic Order, give me Danzig. I'll just get out of here. No? Unaided during blockade. Okay. What do you mean? You fight the Teutonic Order yourself. I don't even care about Kazan. Go ahead, Kozaks. Go crazy. Go crazy on him. Oh yeah, I'm not losing war exhaustion because let's join this stupid war. Uh, that's not really worth it. At least not for me at the moment. Okay, let's see. Estates. Let's call a diet. And then... Let me demand some military power. Don't need any of that. I can't raise a Cossacks. Oh, their influence has to... They have to own four provinces. Okay, and then I could start recruiting some Cossacks. Cossacks! Okay. Boom. Get better pikemen. Our vassals are fighting hard. Ooh. Okay, I can siphon income. Excellent supplies. Now, we can declare war on Novgorod until four t 10 more. Oh my god, we'd have to wait 10 years. Screw that. Quarantine. Let's get a claim on Kazan. I guess I could have also gone with the Golden Horde, but... Eh. I'll get you. You go, you'll go to Ryzen. Oh my gosh. What an arse! Okay, anyway. While we sit here and let our vassals go crazy on their land. What? Why are you doing this to me? Is it the boyars? God. All these wars going on. Now we're not particularly interested with their land. I mean, it's not like we can gain much. Uh... We still have a guy here in Ryzen. I wonder if I went to make a claim if I could get anything. Let's see. Well, while we're in this panel, let's look at our trade. At least I'm getting some ducats or something. Gosh, I'd be pretty PO'd if I wasn't getting anything. What's this region here? Okay, Poland owes me some favors. That's for sure. <laughs> 